Uh, hi everyone. I'm going to help you to install the Cypress latest version today. So we will see how to install the Cypress latest version. And we will use the few commands to know the version. So we need to see the version right after installation. I will help you in that. So, so we will start installing the Cypress latest version. And go to File Explorer. So go to C drive. Okay. So I'm installing today here. Cypress. So V tool. So version tool. So this is the latest version. So so normally before we worked with the like uh, few previous versions. So till nine, it appears like a one UI structure. After ten, no. So it appears like another UI structure. But the current, but the latest version is Cypress version two. Okay. So how we are going to install? I will show you. So launch the Windows Player Four. Okay, this is my existing project. Let me open it. Open folder. So go to C drive. Cypress version four. Just open it. So we have opened that folder. So now we are going to work with this folder. So this is the Cypress tool folder we have launched. We have opened through the Visual Studio Code. Okay. Now you can see here terminal, right? We go to the terminal, click on new terminal. I just type the command. So first initialize the product. We need to initialize the product. NPM do INITP. So this, we are initializing the project. Okay, see it is giving what is the package name Cypress to us. That is fine. So what is the version? So description, hmm? learning. Cypress to our version. Okay. So entry point, just click on enter, enter, enter. Who is the other? We can mention our name. So, so yes. Okay. See the package.json file is created here. So this is the heart of the Visual Studio Code. Means whatever we are going to working through. So the installation, the scripts, and all we can maintain here. So now what are you open here? So this is the code name Cypress version tool. We have initialized it. So our project name, the version. So the main index, the scripts, we can maintain the scripts. Whatever the installations we are doing, we can it will appear here. Okay. Now, so we need to install the, even you can check the version. So precondition is here when you are installing the Cypress, there are preconditions. One is, you should have bad. So there is a precondition. So there is a precondition. There is a precondition for installing the installing the Cypress. Okay. There is a precondition for installing the Cypress. First one is there should be a Visual Studio port. Code. Second one is the npm. We should we should have installed npm. It is node package manager. Package manager. No, no. We need to install the node.js. 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 So when we install the node.js, install node.js. Install node.js. Automatically, npm will get installed. It's a node package manager. Okay. So these two are mandatory to install the Cypress. When you have Visual Studio Code, is the editor. So node.js is the 
we need to install the Node.js. It's a runtime environment where we can install the Node.js so for JavaScript friendly uses. So automatically, NPM will get installed automatically. Automatically, NPM gets installed. Get installed. It's a Node package manager. Means we are going with, with the packages. Now Cypress is also one package. Cypress is also one package. When you have installed NPM, you no, know, then NPM will identify the Cypress and we can install it now. Now we can check before installing. So you can check node hyphen v. Just check node hyphen v. So you will get the node version. See, I am having node 19. 19 version I have. So npm. So when we, I told you right, when you install the node, automatically npm will get installed. So we can check the npm version also. npm hyphen v. Node package manager version. If there is no node, node.js is not installed, there will be no npm. If you have node.js is installed, then npm will be automatically coming. See 9.5.1. These are the latest versions. Okay. I hope I, I didn't check the versions, but these are the versions. Okay. Now we are good to go and install the Cypress. So these two are the preconditions. So once these two have, we are good to go to install. We are good to install the Cypress. Now the Cypress. We have the preconditions. We have the preconditions are satisfied. So we have editor as well as Node.js. Node.js is a runtime environment. Now npm install. So see. So what I'm doing npm. So this package manager contains npm contains our package. npm install just time in Cypress. Hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. See now here it will create the node modules. Once we install the Cypress, see node modules. So we are going to work with all these node modules. It is pulling all the node modules. Okay. It is still installing. So let it get installed. Let it install. It is taking time. Okay, I will pause the video. Okay, I resume recording.
so you can see so this command helps for us for installing the cypress so npm install cypress so here you can observe added 172 packages and audited 173 packages just in three minutes so 35 packages are looking for funding so you can see here now see under dev dependencies you can see cypress tool this is the version we are trying to install so this is our project right cypress tool we are going working with tool so which version is installed it is cypress tool we installed hope you all understood so npm install cypress is a command to install the cypress okay now along with the installation we will get the package icon log.json let it be like this so we are not going to touch anything but it will give them more information about the cypress versions or name packages what kind of packages they are using uh, see like engines node funding hmm? so version so it will it, you don't need to touch this file let it be this file but we are going to work with it with this file so this is the heart of the work project now so we have project information if you, in the future we can maintain the scripts here now the cypress got installed this is the cypress tool version so we are happy that we can say that we have installed the Cypress version. Okay. Now, if you want to see the version, what is the version we have installed, right? So just to confirm, here it is installed. Here it is telling Cypress. But to reconfirm, you can use this command npx cypress iphone v. So here you can find out the Cypress version. See, Cypress package version is 12.9.0. This is the package we are trying to install. It got installed. Okay. Now you need to see the project structure, right? NPX Cypress open. So where here we are going to learn. It's a Cypress is a package where we are using in the Visual Studio Visual Studio Code. It's, a, it's an editor, and where this complete thing is running means Node.js. It's a runtime environment. Okay, now the Cypress is giving a console. It's a it's a kind of dashboard where we can run the test cases, where we can debug the test cases, where we can fix the test cases. When we launch that console only, then we can see the project structure here. So the command which is used to open the Cypress console is npx Cypress open. Just put the command and click on enter. So see, it is telling, it looks like this is our first time using Cypress 12.9.0. Okay. So verify Cypress, yeah, it is launching. So this is the Cypress console or Cypress dashboard or Cypress test runner. So any name we can, we can give as any name. So it is giving welcome to Cypress. So I'm preferring end-to-end. -end. We are configuring end-to-end -end testing, okay? I'm going with end to end testing. See, these are the, it is giving config files. So, what all it is having? See, cypress.config.js, we are going to use it. End to end JS file support, we are maintaining here the, some support commands. Some command.js where we are going to write the global functions. Example.js, and we are going to maintain the test data. So, all we will learn step by step. Step by step. Okay. So, Normally, you know, so in other tools, we need to add the browser extension to get the browser and all for tools. But here, you know, Cypress, it will detect automatically whatever the browsers are available in your system. So now my system contains totally three browsers, Chrome, Edge, Firefox. See, all the three browsers got detected and it is able to show us on the Cypress console UI. So you can pick any of the browser and you can test it. So Electron, no, it will come along with the Cypress. If you know, if you no need to install it, it will come automatically with the Cypress. If your system doesn't contain any of the browser, then you can see only Electron. Now my system contains Chrome, Edge, Firefox, right? We can see all the browsers here. You can select any of the browser. For now, I'm going with Chrome. So this is the specs, scaffold example specs means any tool, they will provide few examples for understanding purpose, like same Cypress also is giving for us some existing test cases, what they have developed for tool, uh, for tool demo or for tool improvement. So these are the examples. If you don't want this one, who are experienced with this, they can go with a new spec file, but still we, are, we will see this examples. So these are the examples. See. Now you can see end-to-end -end specs. So these are the 
examples is providing by the Cypress to understand a layman, a guy who is new to the project, they can understand. Okay. Now, go to your, see, go here and see the folder structure got opened, right? So this is due to the console. So whenever you go to the console, the console has given the everything. This information is replicating in the tool. So this, that is mandatory to launch the Cypress browser. See, even Cypress also, this information is coming in the browser only, but we will call it a Cypress test runner. Okay. So it is giving some folder structure. See, this is important where we are going to maintain all the test cases under end to end folder. We are going to write, we are modify, we are edit, we are going to delete the test cases means then only the tool will get identified. The script will get identified. This is a Cypress test cases. Okay. You need to maintain under end to end. Okay. And fixtures means where we can maintain the test data. Support means where we can maintain the global functions and some commands, some plugins like. So uh, next we will learn each and everything, but this is the process of installation. It is very simple. You can practice it. Yeah. You understood, right? Yeah. Thank you.